With me today, Alex Long. Alex is a field agronomist for Bex in Missouri. Alex, thanks for joining us this morning. Give me an update. What's the harvest progress in Missouri as we speak? So it's a little different from the west side of the state to the east side of the state, but for, for my area, I'd say we're sitting at overall about 40%. Um, and I think corn and beans are pretty close to the same. Um, a lot of guys started shelling corn when they could and then moved over to beans as they got ready. So um, if there's a, a variation there, I'd say it's probably 30% corn to 40% beans or just somewhere right in that neighborhood. Are, are they moving uh, quite quite well right now? Is harvest progressing quickly? Yeah, it seems to be. Uh, we've had a few rain events, but nothing major to keep guys out of the field for more than a couple days. Um, and it seems to be working pretty well. Speaking of weather, Alex, uh, with conversations with some of the other agronomists, the cold that cold event a couple weekends ago impacted uh, their areas. How about your neck of the woods? It did. Um, luckily, it was later than than I kind of expected for the year, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been, I guess, all things considered. Uh, the corn seemed to fare it really well. There's a few exceptionally late planted fields that I think it affected worse than others, but those are definitely in the minority. I can only think of a few off the top of my head that it may have affected. Uh, the beans are a little bit of a different case um, here in northeast Missouri. So the, there's quite a few double crop beans and beans that were just planted in, in July um, for for uh, against the weather, I guess is what I'm saying. So they, they were didn't mature very well before the first real frost here, probably 10 days to, to 14 days ago. Um, so they're still really green. For the most part, the ones that were uh, closer to maturing at that point that had already started to maybe drop some leaves or, or get some of that, that yellow color into the leaf, um, it was mostly just the, the top couple nodes got frosted off and everything else was okay. We warmed up a little bit after that first little frost and, and those went ahead and, and have kind of progressed as they should have is, is what I would call it. Um, the other ones that were not quite that far along, it seems to have affected them. And then we've had a couple other frost events since then, and it's just made them worse. Um, not really any any freeze damage that I've seen so far, but it's just it, it's going to take them a long time to dry down. I think. Sure. Uh, what kind of yield levels are you hearing uh, across the state for both corn and beans, Alex? So they're really variable. I mean, it depends on who you talk to and where they're at. Um, having a conversation with a farmer here earlier this week, and and he said this is probably the best corn they've ever raised. Um, for example, 117 day corn planted June 7th was averaging about 240 across the field at 24% moisture, keep in mind, but, um, so really good yields there. In other areas of, of my territory, you get into corn yields that are somewhere between 120 and 180. Um, but their bean yields in that same area are 50 to 70. So it's, it's kind of an inverse relationship. I think overall, um, average corn yields are definitely right around that 200 mark, maybe a little bit sub, one, 170 to 180. Uh, bean yields, basically 50 to 65, I think would catch most of the, the acres in my area. How, how does that compare to most years, Alex? Is that pretty standard or above average, a little bit below average? What do you think? So so average is a pretty tough, a pretty tough call in Missouri because it just is so dependent on rain. Um, but you look at the last five years, and I think yeah, average corn yields were somewhere, for uh, for the whole state, somewhere in that 160 to 175 range. So I would say we're average to a little bit better this year. Uh, soybeans, I would say, by and large, are, are better than average. Um, there are, like I said before, specific locations where it's a little worse and a little better. But um, I would say we're having at least an average or maybe a little bit above average year. Perfect. With me today, Alex Long, field agronomist for Bex in Missouri. Alex, thanks for the update. Have a safe harvest. Thank you, sir.